Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create a table that shows all the different combinations in two lists. So let's say, for example, we have a list here with colors, we have item numbers one, two, three, four here, and we want to show a table that has all the different combinations of them. See, we have red, item one, two, three, four in red, orange, one, two, three, four in orange, and this is also kind of called a Cartesian product. So basically, it's the uh, product of two or more tables. I'll show you two ways we can do this. Uh, they're both going to be using Power Query and uh, different uses of Power Query. So let's go into the first example. Now first I'm going to turn this into a table. Control T turns it into a table and then also Control T turns this into a table. My table does have headers. And all I need to do here is just copy and paste these and transpose it here and I'll just transpose these particular uh, items. And once that's done, I'll just control D to, whoops, undo that. I'll just uh, select here, control D, and I'll copy them all down. I'm going to take this table and put it into Power Query. And to bring Power Query up, uh, this is Excel 2016. Power Query is already in there by default. If you have older versions of Power Query, uh, like Excel 2010 or 2013, you're going you're gonna to have to download it from Microsoft and enable it. But since this is Excel 2016, all I need to do is go under Data and select from Table. And when the Power Query editor comes up, let's see, let me minimize this. So we have it come up, and all I need to do is use a feature in Power Query where I'm going to unpivot this data. I have this column selected, you can see it's in green, and either under transform and we have unpivot columns or we can just right click and click and select unpivot other columns. I select that and now you've noticed that I've got my, all my reds here, item 1 to 4, orange item 1 to 4. I don't need this column, so I'm going to right click that, remove, and I'll just click here and type item and go to home, close and load, and now we have our combined list. So this shows me that they're all there, right? One thing about this is that if we keep kept adding to our list, like item 4, item 5, or any of these things, we'd have to do the whole thing over again, transpose it and, and bring it in. But with this particular second way to do it, that becomes a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we also want to turn these into tables. I'm going to turn this into a table, control T, my table has headers, click OK. And over here, control T, my table has headers, click OK. I'm going to bring both of these tables in as a query. Now I'll bring this into Power Query, bring both tables in Power Query. Let's start with the item number first. Under Data, click from Table, the Power Query editor comes up. And what I need to do is add in an extra column here. It's going to be a lookup column when you think about it. But I'm only going to, I'm only going to have a lookup on one. And I'm going to have it be the same number uh, for each of the rows. Let me name, call, name this first. I'll call this item. And to create another column here, I'll just go to Add Column, Add a Custom Column. And I don't really need a name to title that column. So I'll just leave it as custom, and I'll have this equal to, it can, it can be almost anything, but as long as it's all the same thing, I'll call this just uh, number one. Click OK, and go to Home, Close and Load, and Load to. And this will be just a connection, so I just want to load the connection. Okay, click Load, and that's done for item. Now I want to do the same thing for color. Go to Color, under Data, from Table, and Query Editor comes up. I will also name this query, I'll call it color. Do the same thing I did earlier by adding the column. Go to add a column, custom column, and also we're going to have, we're going to keep the custom name. I don't really need to worry too much about that. And I'll title this one. Click OK. And we will also close and load this as a connection. So I'll select the, collect the connection, radio button, click load. And now you can see both of these are connection only. So now we're going to merge these two tables. And we can merge either either one first, item or color. But since we had color as the first column, we're, we're going to merge that one. We're going to start with that. So right click color, merge, and it's going to come up with the editor. 
and all I need to do is uh, align the custom columns together, right? So we're we're going to have to match the color column with our item column, and the and the matching values here is going to be this custom column. They're all matched with number one here. So I'll select that, and for my item column, I'll also select that. So basically, it's almost like a lookup. So it's going to look up one and bring back all those there. Look up number one here and bring back all those there. Doesn't matter if you do a left outer or a right outer. Uh, they're going to bring back the same thing just in different places in this particular setting. So I'll click OK and it's going to bring up my merge table and I have this little table here, uh, this, this column with the table. If I click on the white space here you can see that it has that table there, right? So red is going to associate with item 1, 2, 3, 4. Orange will also associate with item 1, 2, 3, 4. If I click on the double headed arrow here, it's going to explode that out. All I need is my item number. I don't need the custom number because that's common already. I also don't need this checked, the column name as a prefix. Click OK. And I have my reds here, my four rows of red with item 1, 2, 3, 4. And it also gives me the same with orange, 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't need this column anymore, this custom column. So I'll right click and click remove. And now all I need to do is click close and load. It's going to load it. And the default setting is going to load it on a different worksheet. And I have my combination of my two um, columns, uh, two tables right now, right? So the, this is my Cartesian product. I have my reds, I have my oranges, and it's the same thing as this one. The beauty of doing it this way with the merge is if we had to increase our items here. Item, let's say make this item five, item six, right? All I need to do is uh, click refresh. I can click refresh here, and you'll see the items five and six show up too, right? And I can do the same thing with color. I can add a, another color here. Let's make this pink. And, and if I refresh it, right click, refresh, or just click on refresh here, you'll see now pink shows up. If I go to the very bottom, you have pink showing up here. So it just makes it easier to refresh it. Uh, if I went, if I did it this way, I would have to transpose the other items again, and then refresh that particular table that I did, right? So if I had pink, I had to do pink here, and then Control D to duplicate that. Then I can refresh it. I think it was Sheet Seven here. I right click, refresh, and then Power Query would add it. So I have my pinks down here. Right, so there's a little, little bit more extra steps there with the first example where we're transposing and using Power Query and using the unpivot feature in Power Query. Uh, the second example, we're just using the merge capabilities, but we're adding that extra uh, column where we have that key. So this is a way that we can make a table that's a combination of two other tables or list of tables, or it's also called a Cartesian product. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.